Hello and welcome to CSS lesson number two. Um, in the last tutorial we uh, basically introduced you to um, linking external CSS files and introduced you to, do, to um, the class, the first time you'd ever see the class. Okay, so the next um, element that we're going to touch upon is putting CSS through IDs, okay, which is the same method, but basically what we do is if we come to the first text without with no formatting what we do is actually we'll put another paragraph here and close this whoops there we go and we'll say text with um, formatting through a whoops a uh, id all right so what we've got to do here is nice and simple is give this a id of para we give it exactly the same name it won't make any difference whatsoever um, so we'll control s this first of all and uh, for the sake of it for lesson number two we'll uh, write it in here first of all so you can get used to writing this as well uh, I would urge you to please use um, external style sheets but we'll write it here there we go so we've got our style type equals text forward slash CSS and we close our style tag and what we've got to write here now is pound sign. Now to talk with the ID, we talk through a pound sign. So we say para, open our command block, and with inside of it we say font, family, which we said last time was vendana, okay? Um, with semicolon, vendana, oh sorry, colon, vendana, semicolon. Next we're going to do the font size, semicolon, sorry. <laughs> and 20 what we do is we make this 25 pixels and then we're going to do the color colon and we'll say blue semicolon next we're going to do the decoration text dash uh, decoration is underline semicolon and next we're going to do the, da, 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 oh, the, the make it bold. So we we'll say font weight equals bold. Okay. And what we do is we we'll add another one. What we'll do is give it a background. Okay. So we say backgrounds colon and we'll make it, uh, let's make it red, shall we? Bit of fun. Okay. There we go. Let's get rid of this line. So now um, we've got, got this. As we can remember, our style sheet is linked on here with the um, class of para, and we've got the um, internal style of the ID para. So let's control S to save, come to our HTML document, refresh, and there we go. See, you've now got two types of um, formatting, one with an ID, one with a class, and also you've got an external style styling and internal styling okay so that's pretty much it well now let's look at giving um, this text with formatting through an ID a border shall we okay so let's come to here and it's very very simple our first word is border now we can write this in one line if we want to give a border to the top to the border left border right border bottom we can write it in four lines okay by saying border top colon and I think you get the idea border dash bottom border dash right border dash left I'll write it out for the sake of our arguments um, bottom and so on that's that's how it's written and like I said border left border right but uh, I like to keep things simple uh, and so what we're going to do is say border in general which by default talks to the whole uh, um, oh, the whole element should I say okay what we got to do is got three um, um, parameters here we have how thick you want it to be as in pixels one pixel two three and so on and what type of border it's going to be solid groove dotted um, etc and then what color the border is going to be so what we're going to say is we're going to say two pixels is the first one and we say solid which is going to be a solid line <coughs> and then we say um, the color so let's introduce you now to hexadecimal hexadecimal starts with the pound sign and by default well, the, by default the border is black which is three zeros so what we're going to do is you have 
the three, the six numbers, shall I say, if we make zero 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 zero, equals black, right? And this is um, split down into three different sections. The first two here, let's zoom in slightly. The first two here are red, the second two are green, and the third two are blue. Okay, and they all work out different uh, amounts of red, different amounts of blue, and so on. So it's a whole other tutorial so what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, the background is red so we'll make it green shall we so put two F's here okay let's control S this to save and then come to here and now you can see uh, it's blue uh, we wanted it green um, so we go to this my mistake and then control S this and then now we have it green okay so there we can see now the body body tag as in the body tag here by default has margin of 10 pixels so let's get rid of this 10 pixels so what we do is okay so let's format the body tag well first of all just for the sake of keeping this nice and smart let's cut this out and put this with inside um, our uh, layout.css well actually what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this again control s this and we're going to continue writing our styles with inside our external style sheet okay now it's best to put the body tag first because it's one of the main things you do so what we do is when we talk to a tag um, we don't need a decimal point or period or whatever just for the sake of arguments there we go decimal point or period we don't put a pound sign which would talk to an ID. So let's give this um, comments first of all. Um, uh, styles with an ID. There we go. Let's whoops. Let's finish that off. And then let's just copy this, just so you can get a better idea of what we're writing. Styles with a class, and then uh, styles styles with um, tag names all right okay so what we do is yeah we open up uh, our body tag without any periods or any out any pound signs and then we open up our command line now margin I'll show you it's easier margin is it's basically we're going to say zero so let's control s this and save now, okay, this has margin on it still. As you can see, that there's a gap down here. Let's zoom, let's zoom in so you can see. Okay, you have a 10 pixel gap here and a 10 pixel gap at the top as well. And there's also on the right, as you can see here, and there's one at the bottom which you can't see. All right, but I think if we zoom in far enough, it, it stays with 10 pixels. All right, so let's now remove this and refresh. As you can see, it bumps all the way up to the top and bumps all the way over to the left and the right and the bottom as well. Okay, so now also, um, yeah, we can, this is split up just quickly into four parts. By saying zero pixels, talks to the top, right, bottom and left. Now we can split this down and say we just want to remove the margin from the top. Now, as before with the border, we can say margin uh, top, just like that, or we can say margin and then talk with four uh, parameters with inside of it so what we have is top bottom right sorry top right bottom and then left all right so just to clarify that one more top right bottom and left okay so let's remove just the top okay which would mean let's put 10 here 10 here so we're actually giving it the formatting of um, of 10 pixels right bottom and left so let's control s to save this come here and as you can see yeah as you can see we took away the the margin at the top but we gave it on the left and we gave it on the right and we gave 10 on the bottom all right but normally best thing to do is by default is to just get rid of this formatting all right and then decide later that you want to put formatting into it so we come back to this and it gets rid of all the formatting that's the end of lesson number two 
Um, it's going to get a little bit more in depth as we move on, so please don't think we're just going through the absolute basics. That's the whole idea of these lessons, the absolute basics. My name's David Thorne. I'm from www.thornwebdesign.de. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.